This video is presented by EA Game Changers. Hey everyone, Beyond Sims here today with a very special first look at the new Sims 4 expansion pack, The Sims 4 Snowy Escape. So before we go any further, this was made possible by EA Game Changers and this is an early access build. So you may notice some bugs and things that may be different from the final version, but a huge shout out to EA for giving us early access so I can show this to you. Now, it's also been a very long time since I have actually um, made a video on YouTube. You know, most of the things I've been doing is on my website, beyondsims.com, and even then, sometimes it's been a bit um, quieter than I normally would like to do. So, good to welcome you back. Thank you for joining me. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to be breaking these videos down into several segments. This one's going to be all about Creator Sim. I'm going to have a little look through this and see all the cool new things that there are. Have a first look and get some first reactions. So stay tuned for it all and hopefully you enjoy this content. As always, if you do have any questions, feel free to leave a comment or message me at Beyond Sims on Twitter. So this is the new expansion pack, Snowy Escape, and it is out very soon. Um, I cannot remember the date off the top of my head from recording this, which is not good, um, but let's take a look. So let's dig into aspirations. So you can see here straight away that there are some new ones here, both for athletic and also for location. Now in athletic, there is this new extreme sports enthusiast um, where the sim wants to explore Mount, oh God, I should have, I should have memorized how you say this word, Comor, Comor, oh gosh, I'm not gonna try to pronounce that. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Um, I don't want to attempt to butcher that, um, and participate in extreme snow sports, so that's great. Obviously the new world is all very um, snowy, hence snowy escape, um, and as well location, which is sightseer. So this sim wants to explore culture and experience everything that it has to offer. So for this sim we're going to pick the athletic one, they want to be a snow sports enthusiast. Um, now from looking here, um, I don't believe there are any new traits. I'm not sure if Adventurous is a new one actually, but maybe maybe I'm just noticing things that isn't the case. Um, I feel like that's new, but maybe just because I haven't played, I just haven't played for a while, I might be lying to you. So let's just pick a random, so since she's going to be a sporty person, let's pick active. Um, you know what as well, we will pick um, Adventurous, why not? Um, and we will also pick good, just because we can. And I am also going to just quickly just turn down um, their voices just a tad, just so that it doesn't overpower um, on the video. Cool. So let's give our sim a name as well. Carly Sykes. Um, and yes, all of this will do for us. So let's dig in and take a look at what we've got. So if we go into hairs, um, we'll have a look at the feminine hairs first for adults, teens, and elders. Um, if we select snowy escape, we can see there's actually quite a few new choices for us to pick for feminine sims. So we have this one here, with a little bun on the back there, all tied up. Um, and it looks like there's no like highlights or anything, but obviously we can have it in different colors and it changes the color on the back there. I quite like this one as well, I like how it goes over the shoulders, and I like the little buns at the back too. Um, that's actually quite a cool hairstyle, I think that might be one of the ones I use quite a lot going forward, you know. Have this one as well, weirdly, despite picking um, brown, it's coming out as blonde, but um, perhaps that is one of the bugs, this is early access, remember. Got this one here, also a very nice one, kind of reminds me a bit of that Bella Goth, um, gives me like Sims 2 Bella Goth vibes, that one does. Um, this one's very nice, I like all the flower details that we've got in the hair there, that's very, very nice. Um, we've got this one here as well. This one here with the fringe. This one here, nice shoulder length one. Now these ones, I think, are where they start getting much more funky and quite cool. So you've got this one here, where the roots are, you know, brown or black or whatever you want them to be. And the actual colour of the hair... I mean, that's quite funky. Changes with every single one. Now, obviously, if we had something like the colour wheel that we used to have in the days of The Sims 3, despite how slow it used to be, um, this would have been quite a fun hairstyle to play around with and customise, because I feel like there's going to be times where maybe you want the roots to be a certain colour, but then you want the rest of the hair to be something else, um, which is a shame. But I think that's quite cool. 
We've got another similar one here, which where we change the color. I mean, this one, for example, we've picked black as the root, but then the whole hair is blue, it's brown, it's a completely different color. Um, I feel like these types of hairstyles would be quite nice to have a color wheel to be able to kind of play around with them and customize them to our heart's content so we get them exactly the way we want. But that is a Sims 4 base game thing. Another one here, they're all very, um, they remind me a lot of Frozen, um, the film Frozen, like very strong, wintry colors. Um, and I like it. This is another nice one too. Oh, that's, a, okay, that's, that is really cool. It gives me like mermaid vibes. And here as well, another very fun hairstyle as well. So these ones are obviously variations of the ones we've already got, um, but in different colors. So there's a few new ones that you can pick from and then some with all these fun color differences as well. So I see, I love this one and I love the additions of the clips there. I'm, we're picking this one. Um, let's see as well. So if we go into hats, what have we got for snowy escape? We have some snow attire here. Um, we've got some visors there, a helmet, and also a combination of the both. Um, but right now I don't think our sim uh, needs that right this second. Let's see what, um, accessories we've got. Now there's a new pair of glasses by the looks of it. These are quite nice, very modern. I like these a lot. And they actually come in some decent colours too. And as well, this flower earring as well, which again comes in some quite nice looking, oh, I, like, I like that and I feel like that matches with the hair clips quite a lot. Oh, um, yes, we're keeping this. I love that, that's a great look. Now let's see if there's any new makeup options at all. No new makeup? No? Okay. One thing I'm going to do quickly before I forget is I am going to just make sure that the colour of my Sims eyebrows matches the um, hair. So let's take a look through these ones. Now, as you know, I really love styled looks. I love them in every single um, uh, expansion pack. Um, so for every day, we've got some new ones by the looks of it. We've got, let's try them on. So we got this one. It's kind of very cosy, almost, maybe traditional granny chic, maybe? Which again, comes in different colors there, which is quite fun. She's working it. Yes, honey, work it. Um, Peak of fashion. This one's quite cool, quite modern. Comes in very, oh, that looks really smart. I like that. I'll tell you what, this pack's got some really cool, uh, I love it. L I'm obsessed with mustard and yellow, so I love this. These are all phenomenal. What else have we got? So and then we've got this one here, which is, um, again, very cool, very vibrant, very colorful. Um, oh my gosh. So this is everything from the styled outfits that comes with this particular pack. I'm very tempted to pick one of these as our Sims outfit. I just adore them. But before I do that, let's take an actual look in some of the other bits here and see what tops and outfits and bottoms and everything else that there are here for us. So for tops, we here we've got lots of very like winter themed outfits by the looks of it. So it kind of digs into the vibe that you'd expect from maybe the Sims 4 season. So I think this would be a nice addition um, for that particular pack. Um, all really nice. Yeah, no, quite outdoorsy sorts of things. And it is kind of stuff you kind of expect to see from that season's pack. And because obviously this is going to be focused around winter. So part of me is unsure how I'm going to feel about that because I feel like we've already been in done seasons and this kind of touches back on it in some ways. Obviously I know that isn't the core focus of this pack, but you, you know what I mean. So we've got some as well, some full body outfits. A lot of these seem to be more like stuff for kind of skiing, um, sorry, snowboarding and things, or whatever it is you can do in this pack. Um, I love this denim look. That is cool. You know what, actually, and there's some stuff for here, because obviously this is a lot about um, culture in this pack, so there's lots of things like this in here. And as well, I mean, amazing. So, as well, if I dig into here, we can see as well for bottoms, We've got um, several to select from as well for our feminine sims. Um, and yeah, no, they all look quite cool. 
Now let's take a quick look to see what accessories there are, if any. We do have some new ones, so it looks like this kind of smartwatch sort of thing, and also some gloves, so that's quite cool. And have we got any new shoes? Well, there's actually quite a few new ones. Um, so if I take off the bottoms a moment, we've got these funky boots, some various trainers. You know what? So far, my impression is that this pack's got quite a lot of, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Quite a lot of stuff that you can use in for pretty much any part of your game, which I like. I always like anything that's reusable and can integrate into the current game. Now, hopping back slightly to styled looks, because I forgot to look in the other categories, there are some um, styled outfits here as well for formals. So this um, kimono here, which is absolutely, I mean, this is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, look at this. Just look at the patterns, the detail, the colours. Absolutely love it. Um, there's this panelled, ooh, there's this panelled lined dress here, which is gorgeous. This is gorgeous gorgeous. Look at this. She's going to make it rain money with this. Um, and you know what? I'm here saying this is gorgeous. <laughs> this one's from the base game. <laughs> I thought I looked familiar. <laughs> oh, well. So anyway, so this is the new um, uh, one for formal. For athletic, there's some new ones too. I've got hiking hazard. For sleepwear, there's nothing new there. Party wear. Um, we have one here. Again, very gorgeous colours, patterns. I just love, I just love it. It's just something nice to see in this pack. It's something different. Um, for pools, nothing. For sun, nothing. And then for outdoors, uh, cold weather, there's some other ones here as well and some other ones reused. Now this is cool. Wow. Oh my gosh. These are all phenomenal. Yeah, this is great. This is this is exactly what we need um, for this pack. This is some really, really nice outfits. I love it. Absolutely love it. So let's quickly dress up our sim here. Um, let's pick this one that I really enjoyed. So we're going to pick this one. Um, for her formal, we're going to have this. For athletic, yep, we're going to keep that. Sleepwear, doesn't really matter. Um, we will have this style, I think, for our party wear. Um, swimwear, we won't be doing much of that. Um, and cold weather, I really liked this one here. Yeah, this one, yeah. Love it. So that shows everything that we have for feminine, um, adult, teen, and elder sims, because they all share the same assets. Let's take a look at the men and see what we can get here. So what we're going to do, we'll set the other aspiration for our sim here um, for the location one, and we'll give him some traits. There we go. Now let's see what we can give our sim here. So what new hair have we got? So there are three new ones here. There is, let's take off his um, sunnies for a moment. So we've got this more shaved look here, which I really, really like. Now also really like this too. They've gone all out. It's a shame that there's less for masculine sims. Um, however, that's quite a lot less as well. Um, but I guess it doesn't really matter too much because you you know you can just untick that filter and, and wear them. It doesn't really matter. Um, and this one too. So not as many, but there's still some new ones there. I think I'm actually going to go for this look, you know. I think this looks quite cool. Um, Facial hair wise, let's see if there's anything new for us. Nothing new there. Hats, it's all the same as we had in the feminine category. Accessories as well, all the same. We've got um, the new glasses and no new makeup. Amazing. So now if we start looking at the actual outfit. So if we go into styled looks for our everyday look, we have this tucked in casual look, um, which is kind of very like this checkered, um, kind of tucked in all slouchy um, and very cozy. We have this one here, the piled with pockets, which is more of an outdoorsy look, um, more modern, um, something we could use in the game. 
This looks again a very chilled out look. You've got this sweatshirt on there with like a design on the front. Again, loads of different colour options. These are all quite nice, though not my favourite. And that is all the ones we have. I am less impressed with that choice, I will admit. No, I do like this kimono. That's, um, that is quite cool. I do like that. A lot of, this is, this is, I mean, we're keeping this. So we don't even need to see the other colours. Um, so you can see all the different ones here on the right. This is just amazing. Athletic, nothing new there. Sleep, nothing new there. Party, um, again, very similar to the ones that you can get um, for feminine sims, um, which we will set as our party wear, because why not? No new swimwear, no hot weather, and the outdoors ones, apart from this one, um, this is quite cool, we might keep this one. Oh, oh no, there's some cool ones here actually. I like the vibrant colour here. Um, lots of different choices for colours. And again here, more of a compact look. I like the little beanie hat that he's wearing as well. Um, and they are all the ones that we get um, for this pack in the styled outfit. So I think for our outdoor look, we are going to go for, you know what, let's go for this. This is the one we're gonna go for. Um, all very well wrapped up, amazing. So. Let's have a look here and see what we can get. So we've got some new tops here to select. Um, we have this one here, first of all, this jacket. Um, and it seems to be very much like more big, thick, warm jacket, more sweatshirt looks um, with like bags and like the little bum bag thing you saw there. Um, I think they're called fanny packs in the US, um, but that means something entirely different over here in the UK. Um, we've got this as well. Um, yeah, there's, there's quite a few choices here, but um, nothing as groundbreaking. Let's have a look at the full body um, and see what we can get here. This is a very bold outfit, very colorful, very, very colorful. This one again, it kind of gives me like farmer vibe. It's very chilled, very, you know. Again, there's, there's you know, there is some good stuff here. Um, again, this, uh, this uh, costume. Um, I thought this was going to be like one just like the bear costume again. I really like this as well. This is very, very smart. Um, and I'm loving all of this as well, and all different patterns and things. Um, yes, there's my favourite one. There it is. Um, and this is, again, very colourful, very vibrant. It's, it gives me like that frozen, um, frosty vibe with it. So I think God, none of them really standing out to me, though, to kind of dress my sim in. Um, oh, let's make him slightly more buff. There we go. Um, <laughs> I just make all my sims have six packs. Um, see here, we've got some various trousers as well to pick from. You know, there's some reasonable ones, but I think these are a lot more, almost more sporty, more winter based, rather than what we saw with the feminine sims, which had a lot more things you could kind of wear wherever you wanted. So I think for our sim here, we are going to select I think this one, you know, for his every, you know, for now, we'll put this as, as his uh, everyday. Let's see if we've got any shoes. What have we got? Again, very similar sorts of things to last time. Trainers, boots, slip, like flip-flop sandals as well. Um, we'll give him some trainers just so he looks reasonably cool. And to wrap up the creative sim look, let's just take a little look to see if that is anything new for, first of all, for toddlers. Let's see if we've got anything new here. Um, so there is some, so for masculine toddlers, there are some, oh my god. Oh my god. If you could see my face right now. How adorable is this? Okay, I wasn't expecting to see, oh, I wasn't expecting to see all these new things. Look at the little bag on his back. I love this. Okay, this is great. This is this is some really really neat things. Um, oh, and they have these little cute styled outfits. Look at this. Oh, oh, he's a little adventurer. And some shoes too. Oh, we'll keep that. And then they've got some hairstyles which are like baby versions of the ones that older Sims have. Oh my 
gosh. Oh. Oh my gosh. Right. You can have a name. You're called Jasper. And you can have a trait. You can be clingy. You're lovely. Um, that's good. We didn't give our other sim a name. Um, let's take a quick look just to see as well um, what feminine toddlers can get as well. Um, same shoes here. Um, and full body outfits are also exactly the same. Hairstyle wise, very similar to the adult ones as well. Um, but obviously in a, a toddler version. Now let's take a quick look again and see if there's anything for children. Um, so it looks like we have got some new hairstyles. Again, these are all very much based off of the ones adult sims can have. Just uh, shrunk down for their little tiny heads. And this is quite cute. I mean, oh my god. Is it the Easter bunny? The Christmas bunny? Um, and this as well. Oh my gosh. Um, in terms of outfits as well, looks like they've got some things. It's nice to see stuff for um, toddlers and children in this pack, actually, because it's very easy to kind of forget about them, I find, in The Sims 4, um, and I feel like they are kind of neglected. And there's loads of full body outfits here. Got, there's a school uniform here. Kids wear school uniforms in this pack. Yes, if you're in this new world, they'll wear school uniforms when they go to school. Um, more on that in the next videos. Um, oh, look at all this. There's a lot of attention to detail in all of this. New gloves. New shoes. This is all great. This is all really, really great. Um, any styled looks here? Oh, yeah, there's the school uniform that I mentioned to you. And again, very similar. Oh, no, we don't want to be dressed up as Yoda. Um, very cool outfit. So we'll, cut, we'll we'll go with this one here. Um, there's lots of formal outfits too. Oh, Go it's just gorgeous. The cut, just the colours are just gorgeous. I'm just blown away by it all. Um, there's some athletic ones here, as you can see. Um, party wear as well, and we saw this outfit a moment ago, and. Again, some new outdoor um, styled outfits too. So there's quite a lot here. There's a lot in this pack. Um, let's double check as well to see what masculine sims have as well. Um, ba -ba -ba. So again, all very similar with the hairstyles. There's also the shaved one as well. Um, there is also the same hats as well that we just saw a minute ago, which is quite cool. Um, and some new tops and some new bottoms. There's also some full body outfits, some of them very similar um, to what we've already seen. Just kind of shrunk down versions for them and some really cute little um, styled outfits as well, which, which, is, which is nice to see as well. This is great. This is, no, this is really, really good, isn't it? I feel like we've got some really good stuff in Creative Sim, actually. So, from this first look at all of this, I personally feel like that the feminine sims have a lot more going for them. Um, and the masculine ones... <laughs> It's still good, it's just less impressive, um, which is a shame. Um, but there's a lot of stuff in here. I mean, it's obviously all very designed for this snowy escape theme, um, as you'd expect, but it's, so it's gonna work well with seasons, but I think especially for feminine sims, there's loads of stuff that'll work really well in the base game. There's some nice new hairstyles too, and just lots of stuff that brings in culture, and it just brings in some nice things that we can reuse uh, elsewhere in our game as well. So I think this kind of wraps up our look at this particular Crater Sim for this pack. Um, just making sure that the children have the correct relationships here for us. Because these, oh no, you are not sister, you, that's your mother, um, that is your father. 
She's your mother. Yep. <laughs> um, perfect. These are the sims that we are now going to be using as we head on in further um, on our adventures into the brand new world that we have. Doesn't it look gorgeous? So make sure you check out the other videos. Also head over to beyondsims.com for all of the latest news. Um, and also there will be a written review there for this pack too. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed this first look and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.